So you've created your game and now you want an image gallery to show your CGs. This is the video for you. CG stands for Computer Graphics. It's the same as cutscenes in which an image or video is shown after a dialogue. My code in this video is really long, so I suggest downloading the code from my itch.io page so you can easily follow this video. In my other tutorials, we learned that in order to show an image, we need to use a tag and attributes. In this tutorial, we'll use another method. First, let's create our image variable called cgred and specify its path, which is red.jpg, inside the cg's folder. Let's code show cg red to show the image. We need to add the button going to the image gallery. To do that, let's open screens.rpy, then find the navigation screen. There, you can find the buttons from the main menu and the game menu. Let's add a button with the display text album. We want to see the button only from the main menu, so let's move it inside this condition. We want to show the image gallery when the button is pressed, so let's add an action show menu to display the album screen. Let's create a new file where we will put the album screen. Let's also add the text for testing. Let's save it with the name album.rpy then change the file format to all files so that it will save as .rpy format. Let's try this. Once we launch the app, we'll see our album button. When we click it, it will open the screen album. Next, we need to show our album in this screen. Now, here is the tricky part. When using Python code outside of a label, we need to add init Python. We will create a gallery object called gallery. Note that this is a class, so we can do many things with it. We can create a gallery button and name it red. Let's also set the image to CG red. This means once we click this button, the image CG red will show. We need to add this button into our album screen, so let's go to album screen and let's go add gallery make button. This means the button we're creating is the gallery button we named red. Let's also pass the unlocked and lock images. Unlocked image is the thumbnail image when the CG is unlocked. Locked image is the thumbnail image when the CG is locked. Let's add a return button so we can go back to the main menu. Here's a preview. Once we open the game, we'll see that our CG is unlocked. When we click it, it will open our CG red image. Let's add a code to lock it and automatically unlock it. This means if we launch the game again, we will see in our album that red is locked. Then when we play the game and see CG red, the image will be unlocked. Note that we can simplify this code by using gallery.unlockimage. Let's do a bit of UI next. Let's create a horizontal box to separate the thumbnail and the return button horizontally. Let's also align it to the center and add a spacing of 30 between the two items. Let's copy paste the gallery button so that we'll have four buttons. Let's also put it inside a grid with two rows and two columns. Let's add a spacing of 15. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. This will help me find more audience who wants to learn more about Ranpai. Now let's customize the other buttons. Let's create the second button named Blue, and let's set its image to CG Blue. We want to unlock the image based on a condition persistent.blue unlocked. This means this button will be unlocked only when persistent.blueunlocked is true. Let's change our make button to use blue's name and unlocked image. In our script.rpy, let's create the image cgblue. 
we can unlock the image CG Blue by setting Persistent Dot Blue Unlock to True. Let's try this. Blue is currently locked. After playing the game and setting Persistent Dot Blue Unlock to True, Blue is now unlocked even without seeing the image CG Blue. We can also set the gallery button to show multiple images. Let's set the name and unlock image. Then let's add our images CG Green and CG Orange. I prepared the code so we can easily test this. Once the game starts, five choices will appear. Clicking on the button will show the image. Then the choices will appear again. Let's try this. Let's show the image CG Green and check the album screen. Notice that Green and Orange's preview is already unlocked. Once we click it, CG Green will show. If we click it again, CG Orange should show, but it is still locked, so this is shown instead. Let's play the game to unlock CG Orange, then check the album. This time, CG Orange will be unlocked. What if you want to unlock the button only when all images are unlocked? Let's copy and paste button 3 to create button 4, but let's use a different name. Let's add a condition to check if green and orange are unlocked. Notice that we use end to combine the two conditions. We don't want the images to automatically unlock, so let's change unlock image to image. In script.rpy, let's set the persistence to true to mark that it is unlocked. Let's test this. Let's show the image CG Green and check our album. The button is still locked. If we show the image CG Orange and check again, the button becomes unlocked. What if we want to add an image with a different unlock condition? Let's add the image first. Then let's add another condition. Note that this condition will only apply to the image before it. Let's test this. When we click on the button, we will see that the image CG Pink is locked. Let's unlock it when end is selected. Let's test this. Let's play the game and choose end. Once we check our album, CG Pink is now unlocked. To test your album multiple times, you will need to reset your game's progress. To do that, click the Delete Persistent button from the RenPy launcher. By doing that, your game will forget the images it has seen and the persistence that were set. I'll cover a multiple page image gallery in the future, so make sure to like and subscribe. A huge thank you to this video's sponsors.